We're gonna be making our camera obscura out of a box. This is one that I've already completed. On one side, I have my hole that the light comes through and my image is projected on the other side upside down. So as you can see, it's all painted black. It's closed. There would be no light inside of it if it weren't for this hole and this one over here. So we're gonna create a completely dark space and then allow light into it. To build my camera obscura, I'm gonna need a cardboard box. It can really be any size, but you're gonna want it on the bigger side so you have a bigger space to project your image onto. You're gonna need aluminum foil, tracing paper or parchment paper. You want a paper that you can see through easily. Where I need scissors, a box cutter, and someone to help us with the box cutter, a paintbrush, some black paint, a pencil, something to measure with, and finally, a little pin to create that hole that our light will be coming through. So to begin, we're gonna be cutting out the square where we'll be looking through and the circle that light will be coming through. So I already went ahead and measured this and I created a six by six inch square on my box. If your box is a little bit different size, you can adjust accordingly. And then I'm going to take my box cutter. I'm gonna need someone to help me with this because this can be a little dangerous. And I'm just gonna cut along that line. So I'm gonna hold up here, making sure I'm not cutting through this fly. And I'm just gonna press down. We have our hole. Now I'm gonna flip this over. And on this side, I'm just gonna cut a hole in the center. It's going to be bigger than what my actual hole through the tin foil is going to be. So I'm just gonna cut like that. I draw my little circle on. Then I take my knife. Voila. Now I'm ready to paint my box. So I went ahead and already laid down some brown paper so that I'm not getting paint onto the wooden table below. So I'm gonna place my box and I just have some regular black paint and a bigger paintbrush so it's easier to cover my box and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the whole thing black. We want the inside of our box to be as dark as possible so that we get a clear image on our tracing paper. This drawing from the 1800s shows the concept of a camera obscura. So C in the middle is that hole, your little pinhole where light is going to be coming through. And on the right is a box that has no light source inside of it. It's completely blacked out. So when light comes through the hole at C, it projects onto the other side upside down. Now that I've painted my box and it's all the way dry, it's time to cover up my hole with tin foil and this square with our tracing paper or parchment paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this part. So I'm just gonna lay this on top so I know the kind of shape that I need, like the size. I'm gonna know where to cut. So I'm just gonna draw a line and another line. Then I'm gonna take my scissors and cut that. Now, I'm going to put this on the inside of here. So I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm going to open up my box and it's going to go on this bottom part. So the way that I'm gonna do this is my transparent paper is gonna be slid in there, fitting, and then I'm gonna take some tape, I have this black tape that I'm using, and I'm just going to line those edges so that it stays in place. So I've lined the inside of my box and I pressed down along the edges to make sure that it would stick. Next, I'm gonna take my tin foil. I cut down a small sheet that'll cover up this hole. I'm gonna lay that there. And then I'm gonna take my tape. All right, once I've completed this, it's time to close our box up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold these in and fold all the way. And we're just gonna tape across a couple times to shut it up like you would when you're mailing a package. So I'm gonna start here, pressing my tape on the edge. I'm gonna line that up so it's snug, and then I'm gonna push across 
down and I'm going to press to make sure that my tape stays on there. I'm going to take another piece and I put it on the end, hold it there, all the way across. Press the tape down and then this is a little long so I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to press that down. So now I have this in between space. You're going to tape over that as well to make sure that we don't have extra light coming in. And I'm going to tape along these edges just to get rid of any extra light that might be coming through. Pressing like half of it on the top and then I can fold it over for my end. So there we go. We have our box. The only thing we have left to do is to pierce our hole in the center and then test it out. So I have my box. And I just have a little needle. You can use a sewing needle or a thumbtack. Either one will work. So I feel my hole right here. I'm going to poke right through a little pinhole and I'm gonna move it around a little bit so that my hole is a little bit bigger, but still thin. And then next thing to do is let's take it outside. So now that we've finished building, we're gonna take our boxes outside and test them out. So remember that this side with the tin foil is where my light is going to be coming through and this side back here is where I'm actually going to see the image projected upside down. So I have my box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to point it towards a playground in my backyard. So in order to see these images, just like this, we're not seeing anything back there, right? So we have to create a dark space around it. What I'm going to use is a blanket. You want to use like a blanket that not, not a lot of light comes through. So if it's pretty light, it's not going to work as well. Like a thicker blanket. If you have those like fleece knotted blankets, that's what I'm going to use. So I set my box on a table. I put this blanket over it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under it through here. But first, right now, we're pointed towards this playground and houses back here, okay? So once we go under, you're going to see that this image is going to be reversed. All right, so here's our actual image projected upside down. Ooh, my dog just ran through the frame if you saw him. Here he is again in slow motion. So if you look really closely, this right here is like our horizon line. I think there's like a sandbox there that I might be seeing. Let's see. Yeah, so we're seeing that image, but upside down on here. Let me close up the little light. It takes a little bit for your eyes to adjust when you're under here. You'll notice it. If you have anything moving, if you want to do this with a friend and have them run in front of the camera for you, you'll see the image upside down. So here, I'm going to move my box around a little bit. See what I'm saying? You're going to have a different image. You're going to see light. It's cool with this spot because the sky is a large part of what our image is. So you see that empty space when we're back under here. Let it adjust. So we see the sky at the bottom with the grass at the top. So yeah, test it out, move around, try cool things, have people get in front of you. You can really make this out of anything. You can use any kind of box. You just want to black it out and have fun with it.